Hi, Movement Family. Uh, my name is Josiah Javier. I serve in the worship ministry as well as the audio and visual teams. Um, I get to talk about maintaining joy, uh, what I do to maintain joy. I briefly wanted to talk about something that was spoken over earlier this week. Uh, it was the difference between happiness and joy. Uh, you know, where happiness is an influential emotion, something that derives itself from superficial or momentary moments in our lives, where joy, uh, being a fruit of the Spirit, uh, is a choice. Um, it's a posture, uh, and I do believe it reflects uh, our intimacy and relationship with the Father. Um, I believe as we grow as Christians, as we grow in understanding of not only his heart, his thoughts and who he says he is, uh, as well as our identities in Christ, we then get to understand what it means to pick joy. And we understand what it means to be joyful. And for me, when I think about maintaining that joy, it's it's worship. And I don't mean uh, singing songs or anything musical. It's intentionally investing our time to him, right? We get to remind ourselves every day about who he is as well as what he's done. And then we get to grow uh, further alongside him uh, and understand more and more about who he says he is. And then as we get to, you know, understand these truths and these revelations, we then get to walk every day with this joy, uh, knowing that our God is for us, knowing that our God is above everything else in this life. Uh, and I think it's awesome that we serve a God who loves serving others. Uh, because as we maintain this joy, we get to also infuse it into other people's lives. As we step out into our homes, into our workplaces, into the grocery store, uh, with, you know, consciously choosing to be joyful, uh, we then approach uh, people and interactions or situations with you know, joy, and we get to infuse a bit of the Father into each conversation we have, into each interaction we have. And I think a lot of the times, um, what stops us from maintaining this joy uh, is constantly dwelling on things that have been said or things that have been done towards us or to us or to family members over the last years, the last decades. And it reminds me of scripture in Psalms 56, 9 through 11, where it says, When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know because God is for me. In God, I will praise his word. In the Lord, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? All right? What can the condemnation of man do? ever do to me uh, absolutely nothing and when we remind ourselves that man has no say over our lives man has no uh, say over anything we've done or will do and posture ourselves into saying God has already blessed our time together but has also blessed the interactions and the commitments and the things I'll make in the future uh, we then get to step in with joy and we get to remind ourselves of the love and trust God has for us and that no matter what happens he'll be there for us and we get to step into that joy and we get to choose it first as we go throughout our day um and I think that's awesome to me and I and I hope uh you guys had an amazing day and I thank you guys for listening